If you're new to Elm, you may have been weirded out by the fact that every if statement requires an else. And this is a little new to you if you're, from, if you're coming from JavaScript. But before I explain why, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to my channel. We do, I do videos on Elm five days a week. And if you subscribe, you'll get that and some great bonus content. Uh, you can put the button right there. Also, please share us on Facebook or Twitter. So in Elm, there isn't an if statement. There's an if expression. If we're used to the question mark colon operator in JavaScript or C, it's similar. But if in Elm returns a value, so you can say something like x equals if this you know, than that, and that it'll be returned, it'll actually be set equal to whichever value of the branch is returned. Now, because of that, X must have a consistent type. So, what would the type be of a non existent else statement? Well, it doesn't actually even make sense. So, you must have the else as well as the if, or to put it another way, your code must cover all the branches. Now, if you're used to language like JavaScript or Ruby or PHP, this is going to be a little bit different. But it also means that a certain class of bugs can't creep in. So it does take some getting used to, but the compiler is a good guide here. So that is why an if statement must feature both a then and an else, because the types need to line up so that Elm can under, the Elm compiler can tell you what is going to happen. We restrict things in order to make them more predictable.